So, been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> Yeah, um, been a slow reel of videos because one, I get busy with work and once I come home, I get tired immediately. Also, been hard to try to think of ideas for videos. So if anyone has any suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. But today, it's a tier list video. Tier lists have been slowly making a comeback lately. So, let's jump back on that train, since it's been a while since I've done any. So, this one I've actually been saving to do till next month, March, where it would be International Women's Day or International Women's Month. But, I figured, why not now? Because, well, I've had this one... Actually... No, I actually made this one recently because I knew I was going to make a video on it at some point. This tier list is for the women of Power Rangers. Not including female side characters, just all female Power Rangers. So, Yellow Rangers, Pink Rangers, whatever female Ranger it is, whatever color. And, so, before we actually get into the list... I want to, damn it, I don't see the picture, fuck, wait, do I see it anywhere, no, darn it, sorry, I wanted to show the thumbnail for the tier list, which by the way, if you actually look up women of Power Rangers on tier maker, hopefully you'll find that on there, so that you guys can make your own. But, let's take a good look at the categories. As per usual, there's S for the best, and A through D. A being just as good, but just below S. And for two additional ones, there's Who and Nope. For D, I'm going to save that for, if I don't think that much of them, or can't think much of any characters... Who is going to be for just a blank slate on my mind? And nope is just going to be... Yeah, just no. Probably just don't like them as a whole. But, with that said, let's start off at the very beginning. Not with Kimberly. We're going to start off first with Trini, the original Yellow Ranger. Huh. Honestly, with Trini, I kind of want to put her in B. And I thought about that to myself, too, about wanting to put her in B and not lower. She definitely doesn't come off as who in my mind. And while Trini is honestly the least developed out of the original cast, there are still some good attributes to her to where she's not a blank slate in my mind. It would probably make sense to have her in C, but the more I think about it now, I, I was definitely thinking to myself, like, I wanted Trini in B, but no, if I'm going to be totally fair on this tier list, B honestly sounds like it would make sense, so I'd say, wait, no, I said B, I meant C. Oh, crap. See, now I'm confused. I don't know if I want to put Trini in B or C. To be fair, I actually do like Trini as a character. And I... When she has a focus episode, it doesn't suck. And I can totally pay attention to her, so... Fuck it. I'll put her in B. And if I change my mind, she would probably go down to C, where... Probably where was she would belong. But, Kimberly, she's, spoiler alert now, probably going to be a bit higher than Trini because this was the setup for female protagonists 
to eventually grow out of their were first seen stereotypical roles and Trini started off as the stereotypical valley girl but over time did grow into her role as a heroine and honestly I like the episodes where she actually finished a monster by herself with her power bow because shoot let's honestly let's actually be honest right now about the power weapons or, or at least with the Rangers j alone. A couple of them, and I just mean the original Mighty Morphin cast, have actually managed to kill monsters by themselves. And Kimberly is thankfully one of them. So honestly, I honestly would want her in Air B. Is she iconic? Yes, but I'm thinking more as a character for her. Like, throughout three seasons, she definitely did develop. And she did grow into her own. Honestly, I kind of might want to put her in A. Because... Okay, let me... No, I think, A's a good, I think A's a good spot. A is a fair and solid spot. <laughs> yeah, like... Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, I say she left the show a blank slate. See, when I think about that now, and that makes me think, well, I want her in A or B. And if I can be honest, the much as I can say about Kimberly is probably as much as I can tr say about Trini, if I'm being unbiased. Now, even without that unbiased, yeah, I'd say A. A is a fair spot for her. So next, Aisha. And if I ever change my mind throughout this, I'll probably do it at the end or at some point in this. But Aisha. Honestly, I can't think of much to say about Aisha. She was just replacement Trini, if I'm being honest. But Karen Ashley in this was good. She was great. I just, I don't know, I can't think of much to say. Definitely not D, but I'll say C. Aisha was good, though. So now, Cat. Hmm. Cat. Whew. Cat. Okay. Well, I'm thinking, I'm sorry, now I'm just thinking about Cat as a character. If I'm be fully honest, C or B. C because I honestly can't think much about her except for she replaced Kimberly. And spoiler alert to anyone out there right now. I honestly don't care that Kat and Tommy are a couple. I, I just honestly don't care. Whoever people are happy with is whoever they're happy with. But, oh my god. I just like the fact that it's... I like the fact that I don't care and I don't mind. Yet so many people are willing to get angry about that. Honestly, god, I have a video coming up where that's going to get mentioned somewhere. I'm not going to say what, but look out for it and you'll see. If, if it's gonna... Hey, look out for it and you'll see what I mean. But... For Cat, honestly, for Cat, maybe B because of her beginnings and uh, just about that. I'd never reminded her of the character. Uh. Eh, C or B, if I'm being honest. Oh god, it's so hard to say. It can't... It's hard. Okay, now just looking at this, I kind of feel like I should be honest. I feel like... I don't know. This is hard. This is tough. It's like, for the characters in Mighty Morphin, they really don't change a lot throughout the show. 
So it's like, it's hard to say. Which is weird, because if this was like a Black Rangers or Blue Rangers tier list, I can think of plenty to say about Zack and Billy. I'll say this. Kimberly, I definitely think she deserves to be an A, since she was that start of, of strong female characters. Trini, I honestly think, could be because second best. Aisha, I can't think of much to say about Aisha. She belongs in C. She's not bad, she just really can't think of much to say. But for Cat, this is honestly hard. I honestly could say, like, B or C. Right now, I might put her in C, but if I change my mind, I'll, I'll get, I'll probably do it at the end. But for next, Delphine, the white alien ranger and our first official female leader of a team. That's all I could really say about Delphine. She was the leader, and she was stoic, and an alien. Honest to God, honest to God, the reason why I have her down at D is because, aside from those facts, she's a blank slate. The only reason why I'm able to remember her is honestly because of her name. I don't, I don't know, I might change my mind if I want her down who later. But, next, Tanya. I actually like Tanya. And I kind of want her an A. I, I definitely like Tanya as a character. She was that strong female leader that took no one's shit. Especially her dick ex-boyfriend, Sean. Matter of fact, I, I actually wanted to... Nope, I kind of... I'm thinking... I'm sorry, for a moment I was thinking if I wanted Tanya in A or S. I, I like Tanya. Nakia Baris did a fantastic job. I just don't want to overhype her. But I, I did like Tanya. She belongs in A. So next, Ashley. Not going in who, but... Okay, let me rephrase that. Let me think that. It's just that with Ashley, considering Turbo and in space... Okay, within Turbo, with, within Turbo, I'd probably have her in, like, yeah, I'd still have her in D. But within Space, all I can say about her is she was attracted to Andros. That really doesn't do much for her. That's more support for another character. So, yeah, D's kind of a fair spot for Ashley. Cassie, however, I actually liked Cassie quite a bit. And if I'm being honest, I also would want her in A or B. Maybe A, because I actually enjoy Cassie as a character. Well, let me... Yeah, I enjoy Cassie as a character. I had to think to myself for a moment, like, yeah, no, I like Cassie a lot. She deserves... I definitely would want her in A. And so, Maya, the yellow Lost Galaxy Ranger... Um, D, I, I almost, she's definitely not a who, or somewhat, well, I want her in who, well, definitely not in who, because I can actually remember her, well, I remember her name, and she was a jungle girl, honestly, Linkara described her the best, that she was more of a messenger pigeon. Just, yeah. Okay, here's the thing. With Maya, she was from Maranoi, a different planet that got turned to stone. She was, a she was the only one apparently able to communicate with the Galactabeast, and yeah, the best way to describe her is basically how Linkara did. How her character was basically a messenger pigeon. 
I don't want to put her in D because I can remember her and things about her, but with her character, it's just. Can't think of much or say much. And so next, Kendricks. Definitely want to put her in A. Like, solely because. Well. Okay, here's a more. Okay, let me think. For Kendricks, I would either want her in A or S. I think A is fine because I don't want to overhype her. And she still contributed to the team by being the smart one. So, yeah. I think A is a good spot for her. And the fact that she was willing to sacrifice herself and did for the sake of Terra Adventure definitely deserves all the credit in the world. Matter of fact, maybe I would want her in S. S is a good spot. And her character had a solid story. And, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, she randomly just came back to life in the end. We can look past that. Because, well, now she's already up in S. So I think, honestly, S is probably a fine spot for her. So I don't mind. Once again, if I feel differently about the placing, I'll probably change my mind on the end. And if I've been looking at this for a bit, yeah, for some reason, just looking at Trini's picture makes me think she should be down on like C. Wait, no, B. God damn it, this is hard. Huh. Okay, now, maybe hard to say. I don't know. I way I do feel like I kind of would want her in B. If only because things and whatnot involving Trini, I do like in another character, which we will get to in a bit. So, for now, I'm going to keep Trini in B. And if I feel differently, I'll say something at later. So next, Corone. I'll say this. Well, I can't think of much for her character. Yes, I do agree with her story. Her story from villain to former... Well, her story with... Obviously, she was the main villain from In Space. And going into next season as reformed and becoming a power ranger that is all great and it's nice that her story actually revolved around her being sorry for all of her crimes as astronomer and ultimately making up for it that's all sweet so i honestly think b tier and the only reason why i have her in b is because i personally want to consider her time as a ranger and also, as a character, or at least to me, was she one of my favorites? I thought she was fine. She was alright. It was nice. If Okay, yeah, I'm good with that. B's a good spot. So, next, Kelsey. It's, gonna, it's astounding how no one has yet to be put in who. Honestly, if I can be honest, do I want to put Delphine in who? Nah, I can actually think about her. Like, with Delphine, there are... She was like one of two characters out of the Alien, out of the alien Rangers that actually had speaking dialogue. So, fuck it. Keep Delphine in D. But for Kelsey, roller skater, yeah, just, yeah. D is really that spot for when anyone's a blank slate in my mind. But next, Dana. Honestly, I think Dana should be in B. While she doesn't get a lot of development, her, she... We do know plenty about her. She is a paramedic. And she was one... While she was recruiting the Rangers, she was apparently always meant to be the Pink Ranger, which is nice. And 
I always... Everything with her is pretty fine and good. She's definitely not too bland. Or at least put this... Or at least let's put it this way. While she didn't get a lot of development, she always showed that she was no-nonsense. So, B's a good spot for Dana. So next, Katie. A or B. I will admit, I do like Katie. And that one episode where she was so hesitant about changing the future so that once they get back, she was so afraid of everything being so dr different to starting off with her family. I completely respect that and I like that. Honestly, with Katie, she could be A or B. Hmm. I'll say B. I don't want to overhype Katie. But I do like her. Can I think of anything else, honestly, with Katie? Oh, yeah. That iconic moment from, I think, episode one. Jen, you have to be polite. Throws a guy out of his car. Yeah, super strength. It's always awesome. Yeah, her character is pretty fun. So next, Jet S tier. I just realized it was Jen. So, automatic S tier. Aaron Cahill wastes no time proving that she's a female badass, even after her own show. All the respect in the world. I love it. She was getting story for herself from minute one, and it was dope. Like, she was a no shit bitch for a pink ranger, and it was phenomenal. So next, Taylor. With Taylor, this is going to be an interesting decision. Do I want Taylor in A or S? I appreciate that she actually actually is a military veteran. She was in the... Hmm. Oh god, I lost my voice for a moment. I like the fact that she was a military veteran. Veteran, well, she was in the Air Force, technically. And that built, and that created a good majority of her personality. But what I really liked was that she also was no nonsense. And also a female leader before Cole came in. And honestly, I would have preferred her still being the leader. And not Cole. Because, well, she's been... A ranger for the longest time before out of the five of them so it just naturally makes sense but with her her character and whatnot I think I, I think a is a better a good spot for her I don't know just something about her just makes me think kind of want to put her in a something about her just says a tier as for Alyssa Sorry, all I can remember about Alyssa is she knew martial arts and was going to school to be a teacher. But aside from that, who? Yeah. But next, Tori, our first female Blue Ranger. Hmm. Honestly, with her character, she was the smart, well, the calm one of the group, being the, well, well, out of the main, yeah, the calm one, the smart one, the sensible one, that would truly analyze a task first before going in. That's who, she, oh, the logical one, that makes sense. She was the logical one of the group, starting with the three of them. She was the logical one. And that honestly deserves credit too. I honestly, for her, I'd say A or B. Because Tori, believe it or not, does get plenty of focus and development. While so showing how strong he, she is, how smart she is. Aside from just having a flirting thing with Blake. 
So honestly, yeah, I'd say A or B. Every group, every team needs that one logical one. So for her, I'd say B. And so next, Kira. Let's see, I can't help it. With Kira, I'm just thinking she liked Trent and was a musician. C. I'm sorry. Okay, let me be on. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. For a second, I thought, well, she could be a. B no, C. I can just. My mind's blanking out so much, I'm just thinking C. So next, Z, the SPD Yellow Ranger. Her, she can honestly be in A or B. And I say that because she started off as a second Robin Hood that aspired to do more on a larger scale. And to her, SPD was perfect. So I got to show respect for her. someone who actually started off, well, on the wrong side of the law, deciding to come around to enforcing the law honestly to do well and good by others and technically speaking she did do that which resulted in the sixth ranger of the show sam so i gotta give respect to her honestly i'd say a or b a because honestly maybe a because she is that aspirer and a strong female character People, I, you think B because she didn't not get, ah, words. You think B because she didn't get a lot of focus, but honestly, with all my reasoning that I just gave, I'd say, yeah, A. Honestly, like, I don't know why. For some reason, I'm kind of hesitant about putting her in A. I don't know why. I can't, I can't explain it. Maybe B? Actually, no. A, a is fine. A is fine. I like, well, this is what I mean. I'm going back and forth between where I want to put her. Maybe right now, just in B. And if I change in mind, maybe. But next, Sid. I can't remember a single thing about Sid, except for she was a rich kid who became a cop. I'm sorry, if anyone can remember a single thing about Sid, please tell me in the comments section, because for me, she was blonde. I don't, that sounds like I have something against blondes. I don't. I just, I can't think of anything about Sid. But hey, we came across our first extra ranger. Well, I take that back. Our actually, yeah, whatever. Cat, the cat ranger. I definitely think honestly, her character can go and be. She was a confidant and that one who can take charge when Kruger wasn't there. And she also was the group's alpha. I definitely don't want to put her any higher because she was a ranger for like one episode. But B's a good spot. Because it's not trying to say too much about her. Or overhype her. And for anyone watching this, I consider the cat ranger to be a white ranger and not an orange ranger. Because I'm not colorblind. Speaking of which... Oh, I'm sorry. With her, the... Okay, this is the Nova Ranger. And she is going in who? And honestly, I think they just adapted her 
just for the final episode because honestly with how the final episode was going it was just meant to revolve it it was just meant to resolve the omega ranger story to which fuck it sure let her be higher than nope but she's going in at least who because she only showed up in like the final episode of spd who's going to remember her and by the way, once again, this is the Nova Ranger. But next, Udana. Not a bad mentor. Was not a ranger for a lot of her own show. I'd say B. I don't know, something about her just says... She's a good mentor. She was definitely a good mentor, but definitely B. And we do get plenty of story from her. Though next, Vita. She was no nonsense. So honestly, also I'd say I would also say B. She's not a blank slate, definitely. Honestly, looking at this list now for B. Yeah. I don't know why, for some reason I'm thinking. Maybe at the end. Definitely just save it for the end. I'm looking and I'm thinking. Just looking at all the ones that are in B. And kind of thinking who should go up or down where. But next. Maddie. Our second and literally only other female Blue Ranger. That is a step. That alone is actually very astounding to me. There are, I'm not talking about Sentai, I'm talking about Power Rangers. There have only been two female Blue Rangers. What the living hell. That, that there are more male Yellow Rangers than there are female Blue Rangers. Why is that? And we're getting more because, well, we're just, I'm sorry, I was about to say, and it's still happening. We're still getting more male Blue Rangers than female Blue Rangers. With Boon Boonger. Spoiler alert. But it's just... I definitely want... It's just... Something about, about that is just so surprising to me. Because gender swap with certain colors isn't something that gets done a lot. It happens on every other occasion, but... Yeah, there are more male Yellow Rangers than there are female Blue Rangers, and that is surprising. Kind of feels like there should be equally more, equally the same as there are male Yellow Rangers. But for right now, Maddie. She was into... Okay, it's hard. It's low-hanging fruit to say that certain female characters' stories... Just revolved around a guy. It's low hanging fruit. But honestly with Maddie. She can honestly go in like A or B. I'd say B because she definitely had a personality. But yeah. Actually no yeah that makes sense. B because she actually had a personality and a story. I don't know why. I feel like her sister should be placed a bit higher. But I definitely don't think she's A-tier worthy. Or Udana either. Nope. Nope. I'm sorry. I can't even... I'm not even going to bother putting her, her, her in D. Just... Nope. I'm sorry. Just, just nope. And that's Operation Overdrive Yellow for anyone curious. Nope, I'm sorry. But next. Um, Rose. Operation Overdrive Pink. She was the only ranger on that show that was not a fucking idiot. Half of the time. She, well, she was the smart one. She was exuberantly smart. And that actually did pay off. So. And she also. Uh, eh. Hard to say. With her, 
Okay, let me be totally fair. I can be totally fair. There are a lot of people in B so far. So honestly, with her... Hmm. If she was to go in B, maybe... Tori and Z could go in A. With... With Tori, I can definitely see her being an A or B. I only say B because her... I don't know, I just think, I just think she's fine as a character. Z, I can, on the other hand, I can see her honestly being an A. Alright, shoot, put her in A. And I'll have Rose in B. She served a purpose and she was good at that. And honestly, she was the one character from Operation Overdrive I don't think I entirely hated or thought sucked. Because, like I said, she was the smart one. Oh, Lily. I liked Lily. I actually would want her an A. Like, she was the calm one of the group. Which, honestly, anyone could use. Like, that one character that that can just bring up the day. She was positive. She was cheery. Honestly, I like Lily as a character because she was so positive as a person. And whenever she was upset, it brought the whole room down for you to just sympathize with her. And all just so you can cheer her up. And just because she's a kind person doesn't mean she takes shit from anyone. Because I still remember that one episode when she had to check both Casey and Theo. Like, she's not here with the bullshit. And I appreciate that a lot. So yeah, A's a good spot. Alright, so next, Camille... Camille is a tough call. Honestly, her story and character were actually pretty fine. Honestly, I'd say B. She didn't suck. She wasn't too bad. Okay, no, no. With someone like Camille, let me really think. She's kind of like Mele, Mele, Mele. Yeah, Mele, where she. Where she thought with her conscience as well as her heart. Revolt pertaining to Dai Shi. Honestly, this might be a bit of a jump. This be a bit of a move. But maybe Camille could be an A. Ultimately because of how she always went about things. She was a villain through and through until the end of the show. Where it counted. Because you truly knew where her... She truly knew where her heart lied. And I appreciate that. And also, she wasn't a bad villainess either. Hmm. S tier. RPM yellow. S tier. She definitely deserves to be that high. Alright, so next. Um, Gemma. I'll say this. I appreciate the fact that Gemma eventually got to shine on her own. I'd say B. She's Her character's not a blank slate like everyone else. So definitely I'd say B. It's just her thing was explosions along with her brother Gem. But she did eventually calm down. And hey, she did have personality, character, and a story. So yeah. So next. Samurai with Mia. D. Can't think of much to say. Just. Okay, that's not fair. That's not true. I know what to say. It's just that her story is kind of like. Mako from Shinkenger, but a bit more stereotypical, if that makes sense. 
Sorry about that. My camera cut off for a moment. Probably because I've been recording now for like 39 plus minutes. But now we're on to Emily. Excuse me. Honestly, with Emily, her character was... I kind of want to rank her character up in B. Because I liked that her story was... Well... Obviously, her story was basically note for note Kotaha's, but it was still a good story. But with Kotaha, it's of course more original, and for copy, the most I kind of want to give Emily is B, because it's not bad. Like for a note for note adaptation of from Shinkenger. I still don't dislike that she was filling in for her sister. But next, Lauren, our female, our first, fe not our second female Red Ranger, who was in A-Squad Red, who was evil, and not on this list, but Lauren, honestly, same place, B-tier, she was there for a short time, but she was still a nice person. And you can see that from her acting. So next, we are at Mega Force slash Super Mega Force. Hmm. So first, Emma. I definitely I don't want to just call her garbage flat out. She's a... <sighs> honestly think the safest spot for her is honestly D because for her I can't think who I don't think nope just wish she was different and honestly same for Honestly, Gia might honestly be ahead of her, potentially, because, okay, without considering it being Ciara Hanna, with Gia the character, oh my god, what's so sad is that Gia gets no focus episodes, literally none whatsoever, she gets, like, shared focus episodes, but on her own nothing and honestly for her character i would honestly put her in like c or d because on her own what can you say about her except for she eventually does get together with jake well she was cool confident and whatnot but it's like compared to everyone else in c tier maybe but once again, I just wish she was different. Maybe I would want her in C tier. Be well, no. It's just, I'm sorry. I can't help it. I just, just, I just wish they did more with her. And they completely wasted Ciara Hannah. At least she does, at least she enjoys doing the fan films. Where she's much better utilized there. Like, Jesus, man. Now I kind of wish Rail Riders was on this tier list. Fuck, now I wish Rail Riders, Yellow, and Pink were on this tier list. Because I like the both of them. But, moving on. Shelby, A or S. Shelby deserves all the credit. Our first African American Pink Ranger. She took no one's shit. She is smart about dinosaurs. She came up with one of the ideas to look to look for the Energems in epi in season one. She made her she created a Zord. So much with Shelby is like A or S. There's no in between for Shelby. Fuck it, I want her an S. She is too good for A. She deserves to be an S. 
all the credit in the world to her character. And she straight up said it. Y'all need me. She bonded with the pink energy. She knows her stuff with dinosaurs. And she stuck that course. She stuck the course. No matter what. Just. Yes. Shelby is just. Yes. All the respect in the world. Yes. Shelby. She deserves so much credit. I really think Camille High did a good job. <laughs> if you can notice. Uh, but next. Kendall. Honestly with her character. She was good enough. I'd want her honestly in like A or B. And I say that because. I don't. I feel like she should have been out on the field as a ranger more. There were some episodes where she just stayed behind. And obviously that's because of whatever episodes they were adapting from Kyoruger. But at least show her joining in for the Megazord fight. Piloting her own Zord. Like, that would have been nice. It's just... It's just that... There's one difference between Kendall and Yayoi, and it's that Kendall is always there. Yayoi isn't. So I just wish that they had used her more. So honestly, I'd say B for Kendall. I. Okay, let me be honest. With Ninja Steel White, for her, I can honestly say who or nope. So I'm going to make this easy for myself. Because what can anyone tell me about Ninja Steel White? I just look at her and I just think, who? I thought for a second I could have said nope, but the best way to describe her character is just who? Like, she's definitely like Trini in a stereotypical sense where you can't think of a single thing about her. Just who is, she? like, who is she and who was she? Like, Lord. Sarah, on the other hand, is no. It's just with her, her character was fine in season one. But then season two came around and they just ruined her completely. It's just. And that's so upsetting for me because I think Cristiani Lopez is not. But that's beside the point. With her character though. With her character though. I'm upset with how what they did with her in season two. And that just. It brought her down quite a bit for me. So next. Uh, Zoe, Beast Morphers Yellow. This has been on my mind for quite a bit. I kind of want her in S. And here's the interesting thing. Zoe kind of reminds me of Trini in small ways with being environmentally friendly. Well, not environmentally friendly, like, well, being into, like, helping out the environment and whatnot. But... I feel like, well, no, Zoe takes those same steps more. And I feel like, but, but aside from those steps, you also see that she is quite a smart person, also helping out in the lab in whatever ways she can with Nate. And also her relationship with Nate. I liked it. It was so sweet. But it never, and of course, but that never just became... Her character. And I can think of so much more to say about Zoe. Than I could about. Basically anyone else in D. While some would say. That she did not get a lot of focus. In Beast Morphers. I disagree. I feel like she got more than enough. And I always enjoyed seeing her character. She was a, she was a strong and tough. And really competent. Superhero. I loved it. I loved her. Well, I love her, which is why I know I would straight up want her in S. So next, Amelia, B 
Beast Dino Fury Pink and Cosmic Fury Red. I like Amelia. And I'm, I'm trying not to respond to my recency bias. I definitely want her in A. As a Pink Ranger, I definitely think she's A tier. If I ever do Red Rangers, maybe... Well, for this, I'm considering her as both a Pink Ranger and a Red Ranger. I straight up love her story. While I think I liked her a lot more in Cosmic Fury, she is still a great character. So with everything considered all together, A is a perfect spot for her. So next, honestly with her, with Amelia and A, it honestly feels like it makes sense for everyone else that's in A too. Like, it's just a good fit. Honest to God, almost everyone else on this list might go in A. Possibly. Because Izzy, I would honestly want her in like A or S. I really like Izzy. And I always liked her focus episodes. I will definitely think that once Cosmic Fury came around, her story became more intertwined with Ferns, which we'll get to in a bit. But with Izzy alone, honestly, ARS. So, God, this is actually a tough call. I don't know if I'd want her in, like, ARS. For our first female Green Ranger, I want her S. Maybe yes. But that would be implying that I like Izzy kind of more than Amelia. I did just say that I do really enjoy Izzy's focus episodes, so... Maybe yes. Okay, then sure. I'd say have her an S. <laughs> so next. Ooh. I am so happy that I included Min in this despite her one appearance in once and always she deserves a i really like this character a is a perfect spot for her i liked her from the jump i love that she was like her mom a warrior and i loved how she learned throughout the special of what it truly means to be a hero i yes she was a real teenager with attitude. A real teenager with attitude. Honest to God. Loved her character. So next, the very last one, our first female Orange Ranger and first official Orange Ranger, Fern. I like Fern. I want Fern and A. And there we go. I enjoy her character so much. She was all she was always so useful in Cosmic Fury. Like talking about taking a bad situation and well making the best out of it. Awesome. I loved it. So now let's look back at this whole tier list right now and think of where I would want to what I would want to change and where would I want to put someone at. With a clear thought in my head right now. I kind of feel like I want to keep Izzy in S. I really like Izzy. Uh, does anyone else want to go up one? <laughs> Here's kind of one interesting thing I kind of want to do. I kind of want to put Tanya in S maybe. Maybe. Maybe I want to put Tanya in S. I did enjoy her. I, I'll, I'm sorry. Just all that's going in my mind right now is her telling off her telling off her ex boyfriend Sean for being such an asshole. It just that's what solidified in my mind that she was a strong female character. And shoot, that was like only. One or two episodes in for Zio. There we go. 
I actually think I like that there. I actually think I like that. Her up in S. But anyone else I'd want to move up to S. Um... Maybe Taylor. Like, with Taylor, she started off rough around the edges, but eventually knew to, like, chill out some. Maybe A, maybe S. If I'm to be unbiased right now, I think A would be fine for her. Because everyone else, everyone else just straight up deserves S. But let's get back now with Z. Do I want to keep her an A or do I want to bring her down one? Honestly, we're the character. Compared to everyone else in A, maybe she could be in... Well, I'd say A. I feel like once Z joined SPD, she knew this was what she wanted to do and stuck with it. Even catching up on the rules right away. And she does have good sympathetic moments in SPD as well. So yeah, I'd say keep her an A. Do I want Lily in ARS? No, I, no, I kind of want to keep, I want to keep Lily in A. I definitely don't want to overhype her. But yeah, I like Lily. Uh, who else? Let me look down at B for a moment. <sighs> moment of truth for Trini. Do I want to keep her in B or do I want to bring her down to C? I don't know. I feel like with that, it's more of a matter of I could think and say more about Trini than I could about almost anyone else in C. I'll say this. I kind of want to be more fair and put Cat in B because I can honestly say more about Cat a little bit. She was still a compassionate person. And, heck, and we do see that plenty of times in the show. And considering her beginnings, B's a good spot. For others... Alright, here. Um, ba ba ba. There are just so many people in B that I'm just... I just want to spread it out. Uh, yeah, honestly, I think that'll do for, that's all I can honestly think of. Yeah, all right, yeah. Actually, I have one curious thought, though. Uh, Maya, do I want to keep her in D or do I want her in just no? Honestly, with her, I don't know why, well, really think about that. This is hard. Like, honestly, with what's in S, I can live with it. With what's in A, I can live with it. With what's in B, I can live with it. Honestly, I'm all right. I think I can. I can be. I think I could be fine with this. Maybe for Maya, I was almost thinking: Do I want to keep her in D or have her in Nope? But I don't hate her. And for everyone else, this is tough. Just looking back on this now. Um, no, here's one person maybe I could change. Kendall. She was, ve she was still very useful as a ranger. 
because she was also their alpha that kept inventing new stuff and refining their arsenal. A's a good spot there for her. So I definitely don't want to, I don't want to keep her down too low. She was still a ranger and did help out when she can. I just wish she was out on the field more. Honestly, maybe let me do some rearranging around right now. That's Yeah, that's about it. That's all the rearranger I wanted to do. For everyone else, yeah, pretty much. That's it. That's all I can literally think about for anyone. So, full view of the list. Here it is for the Women of Power Rangers. Whew. How, this is my list. What do you guys think about this list? This type of tier list should be up on Tier Maker if you look it up. Once again, the title for it should be Women of Power Rangers. But with that said, this is my tier list. What do you guys think of it? Is there anything you would change differently about it? Please let me know in the comments section. Thank you guys for watching. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, share this video. What do you want to see next? Please also drop in the comments. I got to go drink a cup of water. I will see you guys next time. Peace.